Hello and welcome back to Nerd News Today, Toy Fair 2021. Now we've got some other videos coming up very soon, but first things first, I'd like to be a little serious for a few moments and I want to touch on an important subject in the toy collecting community, and that's this horrible thing called plastic mist. Plastic mist is what happens to older action figures when they start to form this unsightly kind of crust on their parts. And uh, I want to talk to you guys about how to identify it and how to deal with it. Now, all plastics are petroleum-based products and they're, therefore react to harsh temperatures, but the type of PVC that's been used particularly- in the Idiot! Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, hello. You're droning on about the most boring things I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I thought we were talking about moi and my doll and how fabulous I am. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't realize this was gonna be a two-way chat and I didn't know I was gonna be invaded by Diva Talks. What's up with that? Well, you never do, do you? That's how I operate. Anyway. Hi everyone, it's Hillary. That's right, folks. We are joined by Hillary <laughs> Shepard today. We've just been invaded by Hillary Shepard, aka Diva Tox from Power Rangers Turbo and Power Rangers in Space. We also know her from Star Trek for all you Trek fans out there. So yeah, Hillary has been kind enough to join us today for New Nerd News Today Toy Fair 2021. And uh, yeah, Hillary, you have had a figure in the past, but you haven't had a lightning figure yet from Hasbro, have you? I know what's up with that. I just can't believe it. I mean, I am the most fabulous villain they've ever had. And yes, I love my doll, my original doll. Her arms just went like this. And, um, you know, I think we could do better. I think we should get a modern day diva tox. I have an age, so my doll shouldn't age, you know, but I think she can have some more, you know, attributes. I, I, I really want my own doll, my lightning doll. Yeah, it's been a long time since you've had an action figure, and I'm sure you're aware your figure uh, was actually the very first female bad guy character ever done in uh, Power Ranger toy form. And they're very collectible. If you're listening, Hasbro, they go for a ton of money. I think they sent me a case when it when I first when it first came out. I didn't realize how rare they're going to be, so I have two for my daughters that I've saved in the box, and then I have one that a fan sent me. And um, so I'm glad I held on to them because I've seen them go for a lot of money, and I've signed a lot of my dolls, which is always fun. That's one of my favorite things to do with the action figures. I love to give them signed by the actors, or I do a lot of them with pro wrestlers, same thing. It's fun just to talk about toys, these like giant pro wrestler dudes. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's talk a little bit about some Power Rangers stuff though, before we discuss a little more toy things. Uh, now, yeah. did you know much about the Power Rangers before you were cast as Diva Tox? I actually didn't. I had a, my daughter uh, was like four and a half and she didn't watch it. She was into like Powerpuff Girls and things like that. And the day that I found out I got the movies, the day I found out I was pregnant with my other daughter, I called her the evil baby. So she was kind of, I was pregnant throughout the entire movie. And the only thing I knew, I remember right when I got the audition, I was like, what is this? And I turned it on and I remember someone was screaming and yelling and had like crazy colored hair. So I put like a little purple thing in my hair and you know, I drove to my audition. I thought I'm never going to get this. It's like a major movie. And um, but when I got there, um, Saban I, I had a, a co-owner who ended. He was ended up. Um, his name was Shuki Levy, and he was there in my audition. And he had remembered me because I did a movie with his ex-wife years ago called Hunk. And he'd just come over from Israel. He didn't speak a word of English. I remember him sitting on the side of the set with her, and he said, "One day I'm going to work with that girl. She's really talented." So when he saw me, he, I don't know if he asked for me to audition, but when he saw me, he was like so excited. And I pretty much just did an audition in his office and I ended up getting the part. And the rest, as they say, is history. And, you know, I think one of the things that folks love the most about Diva Talks is that she's such like a 60s style Batman villain, you know, like from the Adam West era of Batman That's characters. That's my favorite show when I was little. I based her on Catwoman. I watched that show after school every day. It was my favorite show. I was obsessed with Catwoman. So it's strange how um, when that came to be, I was so excited first of all to be on a kids TV show and second of all to be able to use some of those attributes. Um, they also let me create my character. So since, you know, no one had played it before and I do a lot of improv, I was in, you know, um, the groundlings with other comedians like Phil Hartman, Kathy Griffin, John Lovitz. So I was really trained to say whatever came into my head and they really let me go with it. I mean, I improvised most of my lines. I mean, there was a script, of course, but I would always add. And the director was always on the, even before I did it, he would tell me something like, I was going to do that. And, you know, I talked to the prop department and they made me, you know, you know, in space magazines, I wanted her to be very vain. So they made me, you know, lipstick and a mirror. Then none of that was in there. You know, I added all that. So it was a great part to play, especially when I was pregnant because I was like miserable. So I just got to scream and yell at everybody. And it was in my little corset, you know, it was so uncomfortable barfing, you know, barfing in my trailer, you know, so it was great because I was pissed off anyway. So it was such a great, it was my favorite character I've ever done. I mean, I loved being on Star Trek and 
um, you know, other things. And I've done a play off Broadway and, um, but this was the best. And, you know, I couldn't do the series. I, I was having my child. So I was like, yeah, I, I finally told them I was pregnant. They're like, we knew. And um, I guess because I told the wardrobe girl so she could make my corset bigger. And um, she, I was like five months pregnant by the time they finished. So my like, boobs were out to here. So, um, so I said, you know, I really, they wanted to start shooting, you know, like in five months or four, four months before I, when I was still pregnant. So I was like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't do the TV show. I really wanted to. And then um, they kept calling me to see, you know, if I was given birth yet. And someone else, Carol, was playing my part. And unbeknownst to her, I guess they really wanted me back. I didn't know this till later because I felt bad later. But, you know, they have they handle actors like, bye, you're fired. Here comes another one. You know, they don't really explain. But um, I was doing Star Trek, too, at the time. And they let me, because um, that was not supposed to get canceled. Star Trek got canceled that season. But um, I was shooting, you know, at the same time, uh, just one Star Trek episode, which coincided and they worked around it. And I shot everything in like two days where they shot everything this way and everything that way. And I don't know what and people ask me about episodes and I don't know because we shot everything at, the, at once, you know, so I don't remember like specific things, but it was so fun. I was really sad when it ended. And um I think they should do like an evil spinoff with all the evil queens. Everybody looks great. And we could be like the, you know, the real evil housewives of Angel Grove or something. Because there's so many grown up fans. All the fans that come see me aren't children. They're people like you. And I think they would en enjoy all the, you know, we could make it really funny. It could be like an after dark kind of thing. I would definitely watch the heck out of that show. And I just love the story too, that you told before, you know, with us uh, that you were pregnant while you were being diva tox. And again, you're wearing this like crazy tight outfit and you uh, you're like Rita Repulsa had those Madonna cone boobs going on, but you were showing uh -oh. off like a lot more real skin. Uh, yeah. They didn't really count on that. And when you, if you watch the movie, cause we shot out of sequence, my boobs are like, Man, and the smaller, they're, they're going up and down everywhere. And they were like, well, we have to change your costume when you do the series. Cause we can't have boobs like that on TV. I'm like, I won't have them by then. <laughs> You know, but I used to bring my, I have a great picture. I got to find it of me, um, you know, with Scarlett, my, my little girl on the set. And she always had glitter on her, uh, you know, for like, I couldn't get it off because I was always kissing her head or something or carrying her. So she was, this was like this glitter baby from my makeup. Yeah, she was really, it was fun. One of the, I think the biggest challenges you must have had while doing any of the Power Rangers shows and especially the movie too, is that for the most part, you're not really acting with the Rangers that much. You're with all these people in giant outfits, makeup, their mouths aren't moving, their eyes aren't right. moving. Right. Then they don't react to you. So a lot of the things I improvise, like you big Christmas tree ornament, get out of my way because they were smashing into me. They couldn't hear me. So they, I love that they made them stupid and bumbling because it played right into everything. And I could just work with what was happening. You know, if they were glitching or couldn't hear or crashing into me, I just put that into the scene, like, you know, you know and berated them, which was so fun. <laughs> and all those yeah, insults really were all fun. improv, right? And I, yeah, yeah, because I did it as it was happening. Like if someone smashed into me or elbowed me, you know, I would just, you know, say whatever came to mind. Like if somebody was really doing that to you and they kept all that in. And also I didn't get to know the Power Rangers. I got to know um, in the movie I, uh, when I tied those people up, it was Amy, John. I got to know Amy and uh, Austin. Red, Austin, but I really didn't work with anyone else at all. I didn't meet them even when I was shooting the series. I didn't meet them till years later when I started signing autographs at conventions. And it's been, they're like my best friends now. I mean, those girls, um, Nakia, Karen, and um, Catherine, I mean, I'm, it's one of the best things that's come out of it. I just love them. And I love um, uh, Jason uh, Font. He lives right near me here. And um, yeah, we've become really good friends. And it's, it's nice because I never spoke to them before. And they had heard, Nakia had heard I was a real bitch. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just acting. Yeah, yeah that's not Hillary Shepard. Diva talks, maybe. Hillary, not so much. Oh, I'm so nice. Well, <laughs> depends. <laughs> so we're trying to get Hasbro to make a Diva talks figure here. Yes. So I want to talk to you about what you want your figure to look like. And in this case here, you know, first things first is what outfit should Diva talks wear? Should this be the movie outfit or the TV series Diva talks? Oh, definitely the movie. I think the movie, even either one, they're very similar. They're just one covers up more than the other, but you know, um, I think the movie, because it was my original one, um, my, like I was saying before, my old doll just went like this with her arms, I think, and they only did this once in the movie, I don't know why, when I had like a, I had like a horn come out of my hand, like a sword, and they didn't ever do it again, I don't know why I didn't get to fillet anybody, but she could, you know, maybe she could have that action, I, I think she should have, be able to sit and stand, and she should have her little sidekicks with her as well, and 
get her a submarine. I mean, I have in France one time, I, I bought an action figure of myself, which is a little tiny diva tax, like shrunk. I kind of look short and fat with all the little characters and, and all the, um, it was in my submarine. I still have that somewhere too. That's really cool. Yeah. I mean, come on Hasbro. In terms of accessories too, I mean, you, you just talked about that little sword, you know, these days lightning collection figures, they come with like alternate heads, they come with different hands. They have all sorts of accessories. So, so let's let's package up the Diva Talks. Let's okay. work for Hasbro here. What do you want in your toy? You want different hands? You want different heads? What do they look like? Well, I mean, why do the people have different hands and heads? I don't understand. Like, what do they do with them? So, like, one hand will be for like, let's say you want to pose like this, and it's like that. The other hand will be something like uh, a sword, and they'll have different heads with different like facial expressions. Oh my God! I mean, she's got to have a kind of expression. She's got to have a really pissed off. She should have a little mirror, you know, where she can hold a mirror and be, you know, look at herself. She could, you know, be able to cross her arms, you know, be pissed off. Um, you know, she should be able to hit people with her hair in her hands. <laughs> um, I think that would be great. And, um, you know, I always say this, like Evil Queens, they always have one outfit. Like, what is she sleeping? You know, so she should have the same outfit. But I think, you know, her hands would be amazing to do all that kind of stuff from, you know, looking in the mirror, hitting people and the face should have all crazy expressions, you know mad sad glad and even a little smile you know and now that i know that could be possible now i really want a doll like that <laughs> so hasbro I hope you're paying attention and everybody today who's watching sure their today toy fair please i want everybody out there right now go tag hasbro on facebook on instagram on twitter hashtag we want diva talks yes please hashtag we want diva talks um, you can check out my Instagram, Hillary Shepard. Um, and I also have a Facebook fan page called The Real Diva Talks. And um, I'll be encouraging you guys on to get me my doll. And if it does happen, there will be a reward. Well, if Diva Maybe Talks are not rewards, count me definitely in on that yeah. one, folks. We got to do this. We got to make this happen. <laughs> it's been too many years now already of Power Rangers Toys without a modern updated version of Diva Talks. So hashtag we want Diva Talks. Go ahead, do that at Hasbro. And tag Hillary as well. And if you're not following Hillary, you really got to do that because she has like some of the best Instagram stuff out there. I love your Instagram page for real. Oh, thank you. That's I'm glad so I'm following sweet. it. And uh, yeah, for folks out there too, if you want to hear more from Hillary as well, uh, I did an interview with her back on the Trek Untold podcast. That's episode 16, where we talked a lot more about Power Rangers, about Star Trek, Golden Girls, Full House, Meatloaf even, and a whole lot more. So do check that out. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my favorite interviews. So thank you so much for having me again. And thank let's you. do an update and see what happens when they actually make my doll. Toy Fair 2022, we better see a Diva Talks in the aisles. We better. There's going to be just a riot of... Oh, we shouldn't say riot right now. Never mind. Bad we'll timing, be bad timing. But you guys we'll get the bad. idea. We'll be pissed. Let's just say that. <laughs> Listen, Hasbro. You're idiots! I'm going to fire the torpedoes! If you don't make my doll. So all of you who want Diva Talks doll, hashtag we want Diva Talks. That's hashtag we want Diva Talks. Tag Hasbro, you know, do it at Hasbro, then tag me. And let's get me a doll. Get all you guys a doll. You deserve it. So that's our chat with Hillary Shepard, folks. Make sure to stick around because Nerd News Today 2021 is far from over. More coming soon.